Hey everybody, Jeff Roberts here with another installment of The Boring Company SpaceX Update. Yeah, it's been about a month since we've been out here. I couldn't believe it when I saw the, the date stamp on the original video. I'm like, no, it hasn't been a month, but it has been a month. And here is the building that was partially built when we flew the last time. Uh, now we see it was used for the Not A Boring Competition 2023. And uh, we did have a first place winner of that. That was the Swiss team. And I'll show a picture of them here. Congratulations to all of you. And I'm just super happy that The Boring Company is a teaching company. And they want to encourage uh, the technology and the young people of today to pursue it. And that's pretty darn awesome. Now, looking at Snailbrook up here on the left side, those lots were empty, I believe, on our last flight. Now they have homes on them. And as discussed, we're not going to fly into Snailbrook too much here because it's private area for the residents and their kids so we're going to leave them alone here is what i'm calling the candy cane shoot i believe it may be a repair area or a testing area i'm not quite sure there's no tunnels there that i could see here are some more boring structures <laughs> not so boring structures and there's proof rock and look we've got um so we have two entrances to tunnels here and that was the case with the last flight but the last flight there was only one uh, entrance or exit here and now there's two so it looks like when we flew last proof rock was probably inside the tunnel doing his biz so that's pretty cool that we now have uh, two-way uh, traffic here under the road pretty short tunnels but uh, definitely effective for crews going back and forth and and generally just testing how to tunnel through Texas dirt. That's essentially what they're doing here. And here's the SpaceX building. Looks like we've got some excavation here and we got some grading over here, maybe prepping those areas for concrete. It looks like uh, as there is some concrete on the north side. I think I got my directionals messed up on my last uh, video, but I believe this is the north side here. And we do see some concrete here, some apron, and that's uh, new. And it also winds over to the back here, which is the west side. I've got to reorient my brain here. And look at that Cybertruck pattern angle on the apron there. Hmm, what's going on there? <laughs> Nothing. Um, and then I gave us a quick look here. Uh, at how the Boring Company and SpaceX is positioned with regard to the Colorado River, which is right there below. And we look to the right, we look to the left, there is the Colorado River, and that's how close SpaceX and the Boring Company are to it, much like Giga Texas. So, something to that. All right, we're going to wind up the flight today with uh, a return trip back over the Boring Company. And you can take a look at all the detailed items on the ground here. And the machine to the left there looks like the facilitator machine uh, for Proof Rock. And we're going to close the broadcast today with a nice shot of Snail Brook, the, the sign. There it is. Lovely. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for more similar content on The Boring Company, SpaceX, and of course, Giga Texas. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend.